Hi friends, uh, hope you all are doing well. So this is the next uh, video in this series. Uh, this video is about job inspector. So uh, let's begin. Before that, uh, what exact exactly a job in uh, Splunk? So whenever we run a search or whenever we run uh, a dashboard or user logs in on or, or land to the dashboard or uh, we run any pivot or we run any report so so Splunk generates a job for each and every activities so you can see in job inspector uh, means uh, job activity uh, how the job is performing and what is the status of it so this about job so every search is like uh, if you run direct search or, or dashboard pivot uh, or report uh, in background the searches are running uh, in report uh, you can see a save search in dashboard base search or 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 save searches or ad hoc searches a pivot uh, it, it it automatically creates uh, searches when you drag and drop uh, uh, the fields as per your requirement so this is uh, so so for everything the job is uh, uh, running to uh, to manage uh, your searches so this is all about job now let's move to the uh, topic what is the role of uh, uh, job inspector so what kind of roles are there so uh, it, it provides you a tool to ex examine your uh, your search how it is performed so this job inspector is very useful when you are working in optimizing your search or uh, fine tuning your search where where you you can you see the search is uh, search is taking long time and you need to uh, you need to reduce that time and and you can see how the search uh, where the search is uh, spending lot more uh, lot of time so so also it provide you overall stats of a search so it returns you uh, uh, the value uh, it returns the number of uh, event scanned and how much time it took to to find uh, a required uh, uh, events so also uh, it provides you, uh, you uh, the details how the search was processing so there, there are different sections are, are there uh, as i move uh, through the uh, video i will explain you how it is uh, uh, help you to to find the search how is, is processing so also it provides where Splunk spent uh, its time so so if, if, if you can find out like for it which which portion of search is spent uh, Splunk is spending more time so you can go in and then change that that uh, parameter or that component of search also it is useful to troubleshoot search performance and understand impact of uh, knowledge objects on the processing like say knowledge ob objects as in event type tag lookup kv store or or raw raw index or uh, raw data or, or how it is fetching the data from the index so uh, also it, 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 it can uh, help you uh, to inspect the existing job as well so as i mentioned uh, the for each and every uh, every every uh, search trigger there will be a job so uh, in some time the the job can be uh, expired or, or or can be like uh, deleted from your job uh, job activity so uh, but but the the any existing search job can be inspected whatever the search existing search job is there you can expand it which is specifically not ex expired so that you can search so uh, let's go to the next topic uh, what is the components of uh, job inspector search job inspector so one is header uh, execution cost and search job properties so header uh, let's uh, go let's, let me explain you by the example what are those so when i run a particular search it, it will give me a certain amount of events the output and everything now to access job inspector you need to go to job 
and inspect the job before that there is uh, one more uh, option is there where you can edit your job settings so you can uh, do do all the uh, all the uh, settings you can perform uh, read permission lifetime means uh, for how much time it will be there in the job activity so job activity i'll tell you from where you can access the job activity so the honor is there and then all the settings if you want to share it you can share it bookmark and then the, the, this is copied or directly you can uh, control a and copy and share it with anyone okay and and say whatever you, you you have done the changes okay so now the second one is job uh, inspect the job now when i click on inspect the job it will give you next window so there in this window you can see just a minute so now you can see it over here in inspect uh, this this part is called header okay the header what what it gives is the uh, this search has come completed and has returned uh, these many events by scanning these many uh, alerts uh, events and it time taken is this much so this is the header if you want to go to search log you can click or, over here and you mo get more details now execution cost second one is execution cost and third one is search your property execution card if, if i click on execution cost you can see <coughs> how much time is taken for every bit of uh, uh, components like say you uh, how much time it is taken to search from the kv store how much time it is searched from the lookup how much time it, uh, uh, how much time it taken from the source type you can see it over here from the index fetching the data from index and look up file no this one is uh, expanding and, and searching is this one you can see it over here searching is this one okay searching from the raw, raw data searching from the tag searching from the source type searching from the summary data summary uh, index and so on so there are a lot of a lot of uh, uh, fields are there a lot of components are there where you can uh, examine your search and 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 uh, uh, do the optimization as per your requirement okay the next part is property so in the property you can see all the properties of your searches so summarize it is not summarize uh, created time cursor time customization if there is there is any customization and and you can see uh, the best thing is event search what you said also it will provide you uh, the normalization optimized search how can you optimize the search so it is also provide you optimized search so if you can search like this it will give you optimized optimized results so all the properties you can see it over here and you 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 can understand and you you uh, change as per your requirement so this is all about uh, uh, the components of splunk uh, the components of a search a job inspector now uh, there is a very a very uh, important uh, thing to to tell you that uh, generally uh, there is uh, there is a term called eps so eps generally we uh, calculate uh, in lamb and language we can calculate that eps the number of scanned event like say i let me change the search first it will give you some specific uh, action Okay. okay let me run the job specter yeah you, here you can see uh, out of 
8655 it given the 5743 uh, uh, 5, events so generally what we do uh, to calculate EPS we divide this number by the time taken but this is wrong we need to uh, uh, divide from total number of scan scan event and by time so this is the right way of calculating the event per second so let's recap uh, our session uh, so job inspector what is job inspector first of all we need to know what is job so for every activity which you perform uh, with respect to search uh, the a specific job will be created and that job we can see it in activity so let me tell you where you can see that job so you can see the job over here trigger no job activities so these are all the job activities are there what is the status a status done a time taken and action whatever action you want to perform you can do it from here as well and and there is also a way for for if you are running any searches this this job inspector will tell you for for your uh, specific user if you are logged into any uh, you run a pivot or, or or logged into any dashboard that search also will be displayed over here so with respect to any uh, user any search is running either background or 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 foreground so you can see that uh, jobs over here okay so if for for uh, the ad hoc searches you can see the you can inspect the job from here okay you can inspect the search from here so this is all about job what is the role of job uh, to uh, allow you to examine examine first of all and then the overall stat it, uh, you can see it, uh, the overall stats of your job secondly how how search was proceeding that you can find out where search is spending more time you can check uh, with this uh, also use to troubleshoot uh, search performance and understand impact of knowledge objects uh, uh, on processing the knowledge objects that means uh, event type tag and lookups any existing search job can be inspect as i mentioned and as i shown in the activity browser that also can be inspect how you can go to activity uh, no not trigger activity job and from here uh, job inspector so you can see it also but it should be active in over here it should not i mean the expired word you, you cannot uh, like see you can see the time so after this you cannot uh, uh, inspect the job okay so next one is components of uh, uh, search job inspector the first components header another one is execution costs another one is uh, search uh, job property so, so header it will give you overview of uh, uh, events how it, uh, how many uh, searches found after scanning how many uh, event uh, how many events found after running how many uh, after processing or scanning how many events in a particular time so and execution cost like how how search is spending uh, time on on which component also the search of properties as i explained there are multiple search of properties it, it, it also provide you uh, the optimization optimized search and some other details if you go and check uh, in uh, like you can go and deep down uh, your searches so that's all about uh, uh, this lecture so thanks for watching the video stay safe stay home and get vaccinated thank you